Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. We're going to do your collective love reading for October. This is for all signs. And if you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Go ahead and click that link. Okay. So let's see. You've got somebody here who is tired of waiting and they wonder if it's too soon. Looks like somebody wants to reach out to you. Um, they're tired of waiting. They don't know if it's a good time, if it's the right time to connect with you. I feel like someone here is being very impatient at this time. I don't know if there's a, um, you might have a breakup or someone that you're just not talking to at this moment or in October. And um, it just kind of gives me the energy. Like, I feel like this person, they want to say something to you, but they're not so sure if they should reach out to you just yet. But they're becoming impatient. Let's see what else is going on with this person. Okay. I keep fantasizing about what I'm going to do to you later. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I feel like this. Yes, yes, yes. Very impatient. Very impatient. You are all they are thinking about. They want a sexy picture of you. Hmm. So if you've sent this person pictures in the past or you guys exchange pictures, I feel like um, this person like really wants to see more of you or they're waiting. Maybe they asked for one and you said you were going to send one and they, they never got it and they're, they, they're still waiting. <laughs> it, it just feels like a really strong energy like this person wants your... They're waiting for some type of response from you. Um, I feel like they want to ask you like, hey, are you going to respond? Are you going to reach out? Are you going to talk to me? They don't want to be pushy about it, but they're becoming very impatient. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my goodness. It's, it may not even just be about a picture. It's just about a reply. In general, I feel like this person is really physically attracted to you or just very much into you. Oh, so they're also playing hard to get too. So there's kind of this energy of like, okay, well, if you're not going to respond, I'm going to act, give you maybe the silent treatment or act as if um, I don't really care and I don't really need your response or I don't really need to talk to you. So I'm going to act like I'm absent or I'm not available so that you're going to come and kind of chase me down and you're going to have to reach out to me. Okay, so a little game playing happening here with this particular person in October. Okay, some foolish games. Yeah, why are they playing these games here? Because you are their weakness. Yes, I mean, if this person didn't care, if you didn't make them weak at their knees, they wouldn't even need to play these games because they wouldn't care about any of this stuff. So yeah, I really get a strong vibe that this person is like, they're all caught up. They're either like caught up in their feelings or caught up in like this little thing with you, a little obsessiveness kind of thing going on for you. Okay, let's see what else is going on with this person. Oh, of course. They feel like you're giving them mixed signals. Stop sending me mixed signals. Do you want me? So, okay. This is just a little tit for tat energy. I feel like this person feels like you're playing games or you're giving them mixed signals, but you might be feel like, feeling like they're doing the same thing. So, I don't know if there's like a lack of communication happening here. Nobody's being straight up with each other or... I know this isn't going to resonate for all of you, but... Nobody's being straight up and honest and just being upfront and just direct. There's a lack of being direct here in some type of communication with each other. Yeah. So you or and or this person are kind of feeding off each other. So it's like, okay, well, if this person doesn't respond to my message, 
then I'm gonna wait a while to respond back to theirs. Or if it takes them uh, seven minutes to respond, then I'm gonna take eight minutes to respond. Or if they take a really long time to send a picture, um, that I'm gonna take a really long time to send one. Like it's it's kind of like playing off of each other. So uh, there's there's I mean, but it's it's kind of teasing a little bit, right? Um, it's intriguing, but I feel like there's an element of frustration now beginning to happen here. Um, because there's this tired, this tiredness of waiting. There's this, okay, now this is enough, right? So, I, and I don't know, maybe this is your energy or this is the other person, but I kind of feel like it's the other person or just both of you playing off of each other. It's really strange. I feel like there's this feeling of like, okay, well, you know what? Two people here who really want to get together or be together, but they're going back and forth in this weird kind of text having like a textation ship are you in a situation ship with someone or a textual relationship that's kind of what i feel like is going on here okay so uh, let me say i just want to get a couple more cards here so, oh my goodness anything else okay all right yeah you're in some kind of somebody's in a texting kind of thing there's a so in other words like i mean you could be in a physical relationship with this person but i feel like there's a lot more texting than anything that that seems to be the bulk of the communication your mind is just as sexy as your and uh, whatever else so i feel like that tells me that there's something here like that you guys there's a lot of talking through text or there's a lot of talking through video um but there's a lack of physical presence it's you know what i mean like it's not enough physical presence so i don't know it's just like what do you have happening here like what kind of thing do you have going on here i feel like two people really want to be with each other in like real the 3d and I feel like you guys are kind of going back and forth in another dimension. <laughs> I don't really feel, I don't know. I'm, I just keep hearing like that kid, that old video meme of that kid from the dentist. Is this real life? I, I don't know that this, it's, it's very odd. It's very odd. I, I'm getting the sense that this person feels almost as if they're keeping it in this energy because if you guys were to actually be together in the physical like all the time you guys would implode i mean it would just burn out so fast so that tells me that this is a very passionate connection extremely passionate there's this build up this tension between you and this person and by the way if you guys would like to get a um would like to get really hot and spicy readings from me i do have an only fans that i am using um tarot cards that i can't use here on youtube anymore <clears throat> i'm not in the videos or anything they're just tarot card readings and they and i really get like you know they're kind of triple x over there so if you're interested in those you can subscribe over there um the link is in the description box below if you you like that kind of stuff um this is kind of a little PG-13 here, but over there, nope. All right, so that's what I feel like is going on. Let, let's get a little bit more into this and see if we can kind of pick up the energies of who this person is and what the outcome will be with you guys because I do feel like this person is pretty damn frustrated. But <clears throat> are they going to actually like try to make something more happen here with you? Are they, you know, are you guys going to come together or is it just going to be sending pictures or like, are we going to get clarity here? What is going on? More clarity for the collective here with this reading. All right. Bunch of, bunch of, bunch of cards. 
Okay, there is a compromise that I feel like is going to show up here. You could have a connection with a Leo, or you could be a Leo. Yeah. <clears throat> so I feel like this is kind of a make it make or break situation. Because I feel like um you know, you got the three of swords and then you've got the four of wands. You know, it's like, are we going to do this or not? And that's kind of like a decision here that has to be made or that's going to get made. And it, it feels like, is it a yes or is it a no? And that's what I feel like this stop sending me mixed signals is. Do you want me? So this feels mostly like kind of like the appetizer that's what's happening here you guys have been in appetizer mode for i don't know how long you and this person have just been like you know appetizer is just really supposed to be like a short little thing before the actual full course meal comes you haven't really gotten to the full course meal it feels like you guys are just spending hours and hours having these appetizers and that is really not con 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 to like a healthy relationship I mean unless that's something you're choosing but I feel like somebody needs to have that conversation you know and either you need to have it with this person or they're gonna be having it with you because this here is all about a decision and this is like all right we need to compromise or we need to ask questions all right are we gonna just stay here like this and just keep going back and forth like this or are we going to just make a decision here and, you know, come out in the open, be transparent and say, yes, I want you. Yes, I would like to have something more. OK, and try to get to that four of wands where we get into something a little more exclusive or something more committed or something just here in real life where we have like some kind of foundation for a relationship, you know, because kind of it seems like being in kind of like a situationship or a textation relationship textationship type of thing or textual relationship um, um i don't know and i don't I, I don't feel like that's gonna work you know it might be something to pass the time and that might work for some but i don't know if you're that person who's like nah that's really not gonna work or that's just not sustainable in the long term for you or this person yeah, somebody needs to have this conversation. It's either like, yeah, we're going to do it or the Three of Swords is going to have to come about and there's going to be a breakup, okay? So let's see. What would the outcome be for this situation? What would the outcome be? Okay. Ooh, death card in the reverse. So, well, it's definitely not going to end. I can tell you that. Um... All right, Scorpio energy there. It's not going to come to an end. Looks like, okay, Seven of Wands. So it looks like there's going to be a little pushback. Um, I don't feel like this person is going to want to end the connection. I can tell you that, right? I don't feel like they're going to want to end this but that's not really answering the question are they going to want to further into something more okay here's the world so hmm taurus aquarius so yeah i feel like yeah i do i feel like this person you know what hmm so they might bring this up to you they might say to you, hey, you know what? Let's take this a step further. You might, you know, but I'm not exactly sure who's going to say it, quite frankly. You might have to initiate or they might have to initiate. But I feel like there's definitely going to be a change. Um, and things are going to be like, like a new chapter to come forward i can say though that i that i definitely feel like this person is not going to want this situation to come to an end i mean i feel like they are super super into you i feel like they are very attracted to you um i don't feel like i i honestly like 
I get a sense that the reason why this person, I don't know if they're just like fear-based or they're not sure if you're all that into them and so they're just kind of playing along. Um, I mean, if this person feels so weak at the knees because of you, I don't know if there's someone who's very direct or someone that can take the lead, that will take the lead. They're, they might be someone that kind of lets you hold the purse strings, whether you're masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. Uh, I almost feel like if you were to say, listen, we're going to, this is the direction we're going. <laughs> if you kind of take control of the situation, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's your personality or not, but this person seems to be kind of like a little doubtful about themselves with this. I'm tired of waiting, but I wonder if it's too soon to make a move. Yeah, a little lacking maybe in a little bit of self-confidence of some sort, but I can say that they don't, if you tried to end this or just try to, or if you just say, uh, listen, I, I think we should just be friends or I don't want to do this. They're, they're gonna, not going to try, they're not going to let you go. They're going to push back on that. Yeah, look, here's the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I mean, this person is super, super passionate about you. They got that lusty, fiery energy, could be a Sag. They definitely are on fire for you, for sure. Yes, very much. Oh my gosh, look, Eight of Wands, keep its arrows, 100%. And they will move swiftly, swiftly and quickly in your direction. So this could be someone, you might be in a long distance relationship with this person, and that might be the reason for why you guys have this type of relationship. Um, and I feel like this, if that's the case, I mean, you guys, someone might, you might not be in the situation where you can actually move it to be together in like in closer proximity. Um, and so some of you might just be okay with having this relationship. And so then maybe it's just not your reading, but at the same time, there is a sense that this person might be coming a bit frustrated with it and may actually approach you in some indirect way of some sort and just say, listen, we, I would like to just try to further this um, if you don't or can't. But if it's reversed, I kind of feel like there's definitely something here on the table where I feel like this person, I, I can tell you for sure, I can definitely tell you for sure that they are not willing to lose this thing with you here. Definitely not. They will not want to give this up. No. And if that means trying to find a way to work through things and make it happen, yes, they're, they're all in. So if that means relocating or moving or traveling more to see each other, definitely they are in. Yep. Oh my God. What? Yep. Making that love offer. Coming forward. Expressing their love, expressing their affections towards you. The romantic night. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Offering their heart, their cup of love. <laughs> um, being very charming. And putting on like, turning up the romance. I, I really feel like this person is smitten with you. And just doesn't like your per whoever this person is that you're dealing with. Your person is just extremely smitten with you, and just does not. They, they might not even really have any kind of idea of how to make something go forward. But I can, I definitely feel like they they can't let you go. There's no way that they're willing to give you up. There is no way. So, you know, let me see. I just want to get a couple more cards here, and then I'm gonna pull some from my Moon Pie Tarot deck and see. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. So, yes, there's going to be an absolutely huge, solid new opportunity coming in, new offer of investment and having something brand new between the two of you. Ten of Swords in the reverse. So, yeah, this person is completely not willing to let this go. I feel like they're just going to keep repeating this. Um, they're not ready to hit rock bottom or bottom out this connection. Whatever it takes, they're, they're going to defend it for sure. Um, let's get a couple extra messages here and see what else is going to show up for you. Okay, I just feel like they are just really, really, really into you. Really into you and really wanting to see you 
even if that means that they can only see pictures of you i keep getting that um the cure song pictures of you i don't know if you got i don't remember the words but yeah i'm picking that up wealth health and abundance awesome this is great for you personally you're coming into some wealth better health your abundance coming towards you in october super awesome super super awesome you have a material wish is also being granted so this is great something you've been wanting or wishing for in the material world because we are living in a material world and you're all just material girls <laughs> sorry it's a little madonna a little madonna flash there so that could be like um, a loan something you've been wishing or hoping for a loan or some more money or maybe like um, a whole new wardrobe or a piece of jewelry maybe a, upgrading your car or upgrading your phones or anything tangible uh, material you know whatever building that extension on the back of your house um, something along those lines uh, material wise a wish of something that you wanted I definitely feel like it's that's gonna be granted for you in October so keep your keep your eyes peeled for that let's see what else yep you have a new passionate start as well happening in October that was the same as yesterday's reading let's see what else do you have oh 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 and you've got two things you have a message from an admirer and a lustful, fiery spirit coming in. Wow. So you're going to be receiving... Now, I don't know if this is the same person, but an, a, a message from an admirer is someone... This could be a secret admirer. This could be somebody else as well. I feel like you, you're very attractive and you attract a lot of um, suitors, or at least you will be in October. Something about the way you look. I heard the way you smell, um, the way you carry yourself. Um, but you also attract a lust, lustful, fiery spirits as well. Um, so you might get a good ego boost out of that. Or you might just be like, no, I don't want that energy around me. Um, but there's definitely going to be this energy playing out. And it could also be this person. Um, if you haven't heard from them for, like I said in the beginning, if you guys aren't communicating, you will definitely be hearing from them in October. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave that there. I hope you enjoy that reading. Again, if you want to book a personal reading with me, link is still the same, moonpietarot.com. Go over and book with me. And I am running a special for October, the spooky special. So you can definitely get that. It's a 30-minute phone call. Go over and check that out. I also have um, another tower reader who also is doing readings on my booking site. And you can book with her. She is... Uh, she charges much less than I do, and she but she has a lot more hours available. So if you're unable to book with me, I'm pretty much, I don't have as many hours as I used to. Um, but if you really need a reading, you can book with her. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. So have a great day, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Can